there was something that came up recently. I was talking about this out loud to a couple other agents, and I really f have never mentioned what I'm about to mention. I've never mentioned it on video before. Okay, so when I was building Secure Agent Mentor, Secure Agent, you know, leads and our video content and our YouTube and everything else, I look back about three years ago, three and a half years ago, when I was building this following and putting out content to educate insurance agents. What I did along the way, really early on, was I was still selling insurance out in the field. So it was kind of funny. I had an appointment setter that would also go drive me around. So not only would he set the appointments, but then he would go drive me to the appointments. Good dude, nice guy, his name's Aaron. And the purpose was I need to walk, I would generate leads, he would set appointments, I would walk into a schedule of appointments, but I still was like putting out content you know, emailing people back and forth. I was still working on my personal brand at the time. But I was so passionate about helping other people, but I wasn't monetizing our YouTube or our content for 13 months that I really, I forget along the way that I had to juggle a lot of hats and do a lot and really grind it out because me putting out content or lead generating leads or helping insurance agents or training or coaching or whatever was not paying the bills. I was not doing a lot early on, right? People think businesses are like overnight successes, like nobody is, right? No one was ever an overnight success that just blew up, right? People, I mean, it's just not true, okay? But what I remember is that I was still grinding it out, going out and selling insurance. I remember one specific day, we came back with about nine applications. And it was all because I was walking into a completely full day a ton of appointments. We had to actually drive out near Joplin and drive around through Carthage and Neosho and it's southwest Missouri, close to Oklahoma border. Uh, and I think back on that, and what I remember is kind of the the, the uh, rationing off of responsibilities. So something Ramiz mentioned at eight percent, and it's I think it's easier to produce at a high level when because I had an appointment setter. And I'm not saying you have a driver and everything else, right? That's kind of silly, but at the time, I was working on everything else, so I was juggling really two jobs, two careers, and doing some things, but because I was able to ration off the lead gen and the appointment setting, it made it easier. So there's creative ways for you to scale your business, and I don't know what it is, what the right move is for you, but I wanted to share that because it's something I've never shared on video, and a lot of times people are like, hey, do you need an appointment setter? Well, if you can produce more, then yeah, you need an appointment setter.